I've been getting quite a few questions and comments asking, why am I just putting up a list of what the daily challenges are without any locations or strategy guides included with it? And that's because that's a header to my daily challenge playlist. But you can find a link to this playlist in the description of just about all of my videos. The link never changes. You can actually bookmark it and visit it every day and it will be updated with new locations specifically for that day's daily challenges. Now you can see here, this is the original video where it just tells you what the daily challenges are for the day. Now, once I'm done watching this video, I can go down to the description and access the playlist. Alternatively, on the end scene of these videos, there is a link to the playlist there as well. So you don't even need to go into the description. You can just click right on the video and it will take you to this playlist. Hello and thank you for viewing. Today's daily challenge is asking us to pick five Bay Boulet. Bay Boulet, you can see what the color of them are on the screen here. They're an orange mushroom. They're going to spawn in patches of two to four. And I'm going to show you six locations. So you're going to be able to pick up 12 to 24 Bay Boulet. So even if the game is bugging out and they're not registering when you pick a couple of them, you should have absolutely no problem getting it completed between these six spots. Now these six spots, they're located west and southwest of Valentine, pretty much all along that road that goes southwest out of Valentine. You can see it starts up at the end in Valentine, works all the way down almost to the river. And I think if you go down by the river, you can even find some more. But who needs more when I'm showing you six spots anyways. I appreciate you coming in. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next Hello and thank you for viewing. As you can see, the chanterelle's on the screen right now. It's a yellow plant. It's a mushroom. You'll be picking these in groups of two to four. What I'm showing you now, there's only two, but there's possibly four here. At each of these locations, I'm going to show you seven locations you could find two to four. So you should be able to pick 14 to 28 from what is on this map that's coming up. Now you can see on the map that two of the locations are actually a stone's throw from roads. One of them actually is inside the city boundaries. Then you go a little further south, you find one halfway between roads and the panther. Then you go down further by the panther, there's four more down by the panther. I'm probably going to head down to the Panther, see if I can make a couple dollars when I go pick these. Hope this helps you out. Hello and thank you for viewing. Today's daily challenge is asking us to collect two American Bullfrogs. I'm going to show you where there's a location that has lots of American Bullfrogs. The trick to finding these frogs is you want to look along the water's edge, particularly usually in muddier areas, and they're all along the water's edge on this peninsula. I'm going to show you the map at 40 second, 42 seconds into the video. So if you want to jump ahead and take a look at that map, go ahead. I'm going to go kill another bullfrog. And then after showing you the map, I'm going to show you two more bullfrogs. They're just all up and down this stretch here. You're going to see the map when I go up and pick this one up. I'm going to open the map up here. Yeah, two seconds, it's coming up. Here we go. This is the location. We are in Blue Water Marsh, that's located between Van Horn and Sandy. If you're going to fast travel, the quickest fast travel point probably would be Van Horn. However, Lemoyne is such a small area, you can just really free roam into Lemoyne and just run your horse over here. No need to fast travel, really. Make sure you check the description. Hello, welcome to the show. Today we are asked to do three posse races completed. Okay, you don't have to win them, you can lose them, that's just fine. But you're going to need a posse, you're going to need people in it. Now, I have a persistent posse. I don't know if this works with a temporary posse or not. People can leave a comment down below. Let us know if it works with a temporary posse or if you need a persistent posse in order to do posse versus events. So once you have some people in your posse, you just set a waypoint on the map. Now, the waypoint I had right there was too close to a posse member, so it told me that in the menu. So I move the waypoint. You want to make sure it's away from all posse members. And then you go into posse versus and select posse race. And then everybody just races to that waypoint. First one there wins. The first one there actually gets a little bit more XP than everybody else, I think. I wasn't in voice communication with my posse members. These are just randoms I invited from the session I was in. So hopefully, you know, they appreciate the fact that they're getting their daily challenge done too. This is the second race that we did. I won the first race, so I thought I'll let this guy win this one. It's only fair. So as you can see, I have two posse races completed. I just got credit for this one, and I didn't even win it. 
and then you can see here that there is a three minute cooldown in between races. All right, you can see at the end of this video, right here in the upper left corner, there is the tile that shows the daily challenge playlist updated daily link. So at the end of this video, see like at the end of this video as well, it's right there in the upper left corner. You can click it and access that playlist. Thank you everyone for viewing, subscribing, liking, sharing, and especially joining. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.